Hi everyone, Jade's Mantle here bringing you yet another video. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are doing another RuPaul wig transformation. This one is the sequel. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have yet another RuPaul Party City wig that we are going to transform into something fabulous, drag, and wearable. Here is the one I've gotten. This one is the side swept away wig. <laughs> and it's very much like RuPaul in that nice honey blonde. Like if you recall like the RuPaul from like whenever she like dials in for the you got, you know. She already done had hers is male. It's kind of like that, sort of inspired. Or a little bit like her on Project Runway. She's wearing Honey Blonde in that as well. Okay, let's take it out of the box. I'm removing one half and more halves of the box. Okay, oh, this is a different wig than what was on there. Oh, I guess there is highlights. It's a highlight wig, not a Honey Blonde. I strike that, you know, it's not Honey Blonde, it's a highlight. Okay, it looks like blonde with carroty streaks. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> this is their idea of a side swept. I love it. It's just a ponytail. <laughs> I love that. Okay, well, let's put her on the head. We'll look more at it and expect it. Now, this is all the height that they teased up inside of it. And it is sort of, how should I say, George Washington kind of hairstyle which is cool, you know, I like Hamilton. Again, it's really shiny because there's all of that hairspray inside of it to keep it all teased up and big. I mean, there's a decent amount of volume right here. When I start to re-tease that, it's gonna get even bigger. Now, I don't think I'm gonna keep this pig this ponytail in here, so let's remove that rubber band right now. All right, once I've released the hair. Okay, I don't like that, like it's very bare. Not a lot of whole tracks in this one. So far, the blonde one has been the best one as far as like the amount of hair you get. Like these ones I've noticed with like the bigger volume up top, they don't have as much hair on the bottom. So there's that to consider. Also, I don't know what it is, the hair looks not the best, but we're gonna make it work. So here we go. Let's get started and just fuss around with it and see where we wanna go with it. First off, let's brush out this hairspray and release this hair. Cause she has been held in captivity in that bag for a while now. Ooh, all right. A lot of shedding happening right now. Of all the wigs, this one feels the most costumey. Like I'm pulling lots of clumps of hair out of it. Yeah, that is not cool. My Lord, I'm gonna take all the hair out before I even start teasing it. Okay, well, I feel like I know where this is going. Let's really get settled in now. Let's start this. Okay, so what I've noticed is, is this one doesn't have teasing in it already. Now that I'm inspecting it further, it's just sort of like a dome cap they sewed. Like if you recall like those old party store wigs with the beehives, they'll have like that like buckram like dome, like a comb to make it have volume. It's sort of like that, like they sew tracks to a piece of buckram and it's creating like a dome shape here, but nothing is teased in it which is kind of lame considering like the blonde one had the pre-teasing in it and it was actually pretty sickening. This one, the hair quality even feels a bit cheaper too. Like it's a bit more costumey. And like, as soon as I run a brush through it, like so much hair is coming out of it. <laughs> Look at this. Like I'm pulling so much hair out. By the time I get to like actually styling it, there's gonna be like four hairs left in the head. I'm worried as I start styling this, like I don't think I'm able to do a wig line in it because like the hair keeps coming out. Like I don't even know how it's gonna react to hairspray. Like look at this, Lord. I'm not teasing this really hard. Like I'm actually kind of a soft glove with it. It's just, I get a little bit of a grip on it and the hair just wants to come right out. Like I don't know if the tracks, like when they made them weren't like properly mended or what, but. They are not sticking. Oh Lord. Let's we'll start doing a clump count at this point. <sighs> All right, 
I'm gonna tease the rest of this off camera and I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. This is the wig all teased out and I even started the hairline on it. Now, guys, I don't know about this one. This one is really, really hard. It is not the best quality hair in the long shot and by the time I was actually starting to do this, check it out. All this hair came out of this wig just from brushing it. <laughs> Look at this thing, it's like a spirit ball. It's like, Kamehameha! Oh my goodness. So yeah, that is what we're working with right now and we're gonna make it work. Now this is obviously not the best wig out of this line. As far as it goes, I have to say the blonde one is really winning as far as quality goes. I'm glad I actually didn't pay full price for this one because when I went to Party City, it was marked down for $40, which is still a bit steep for this quality of hair. I'm just gonna get this wig line going before I start really intensely teasing it because I want to keep this hair flat and especially if the hair is cheap and flimsy like this I want to make sure it stays down when I'm teasing it I'm even trying to figure this out for myself where this wig is going because honestly, I don't know. I mean just take a look at some of this stuff. Like there is some sections here that when I teased it, they just start dread up. Like right here, they're just two big dreads that I can't seem to fix. Like, and that just happened from teasing it even slightly. Like I wasn't even going in hard. Okay, let's see where we can take this because honestly, she looking a bit cray cray. All right. Grab our brush. Okay, so I'm running a brush through one side of it because it looks as if the wig is balding from like me brushing it just to even try and tease it and style it. So I'm trying to fix that and remedy it so we can get something wearable out of this. Because I spent $40 on this wig, I want to get something out of it. I like to believe that you can do anything with any wig, and every wig has this hairstyle in it, but this one's making it a bit difficult. So, I don't want this to be the wig that breaks me. It's not going to be the side swept away by the RuPaul collection at Party City. What the hell is that? You see that right oh my god <laughs> I don't know what that is maybe it's thread from the wig keeping it together i don't know well good to know it's there all right put that aside and not think about it anymore i think i see a hairstyle coming along yeah i think i see it she's looking a bit i don't know what she looks like right now <laughs> a bit like the live action beauty and the beast like she's got ron perlman's hair right now which i don't think was the initial goal of this wig but you know, if you're doing a production of Cats, you know, you got something going on right here. Okay, I think I see it now. Okay, so my strategy on this wig is now, whenever I get close to something that looks a little bit good, I immediately brush it down, smooth it out, and hairspray it and blow dry it. Cause I don't want it moving around or going anywhere because this hair is so like tricky that if it starts moving around too much, it loses off its style. And just looking at some of this frizz, like I'm gonna have to cut all this out and get a haircut. Cause otherwise it's not gonna be workable for anything. Alrighty, now I'm just smoothing it out. I'm gonna jump off and smooth it out more off camera and pull out more clumps from my brush because it's getting difficult. So I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. I, oops. now I did a half up right here because I'm gonna do an updo. And I've shown you guys how to do this in the last video, but maybe I'll just show you this so you see more in detail since the hair is a little bit easier to see. Oops, I forgot to turn on one of my lights. Ah, the light is back. I put pins up, 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 and back, 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 back and just pinned it flat against the wig cap. And it's to roll like that. And we're gonna do an updo and a really easy updo at that. <sighs> going through with the scissors, because like I said before, this hair is difficult. So when it's longer like this and it's cheaper hair, the longer it is, the more likely it's gonna give you trouble. If it's easier just to cut the problems out of your life and do that. 
these ends are all frizzed, so I'm just cutting all of those out to get back to like a workable tendril. Here we go, here we go again. I'm gonna turn this into a French twist. Whew, all right, almost there. I swear this wig took years off of my life. I'll never know my floor without this hair on it. We are nearing the end. What I'm going to do is curve it here and try and pin it down strategically so that hair sticks out that I can play around with and create sort of a style up top. Here we go. Just some ending little fun bits with the hair. Trying to brush in some flair to the ends. Since those curls are still pretty intact, we can play around with them. Playing around with what we got and trim away those excesses. All right, I took this completely unmoldable piece of costume wiggery and turned it into a 1960s mother hairstyle. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm gonna trim off this hairline and I'll put it on we'll be right back. Welcome back, this is the final result. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel just like Vita Boem from Tu Wan Fu, thanks for everything, Julie Neumar. <laughs> it's very much like that old school, like 90s remembers the 1950s, like dressing up like your mom kind of aesthetic. I love that. Oh my goodness, it's like a Charles Bush kind of hairstyle. All right, now I have to say that this RuPaul wig was not my favorite. No, 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 no. I was not a huge fan of this one. The side swept one, I don't know what it is, but like the quality of hair was so hard to work with. And I feel like this is like the essential Party City hair we were expecting. Like when everyone was like really bashing this wig line, this is the kind of hair people were expecting and it delivered full force. Like it was difficult to work with, but I feel like I managed to turn it out just a bit. Like, look at that. It's very much like an evil principal or something. <laughs> or wicked stepmother, which I could get into. It's a look. And on top of that, you guys now know how to do an updo. So you're welcome. But yeah, she is an updo with some flair. Let me know what you guys think about her down below. Now, as far as the RuPaul wigs go, I have to say one more time that that blonde wig is probably the best one I have worked with. But there are still two more wigs that I have to try out. So we shall see what I'll transform those into. But this one, I have to say, started as a fail. It actually turned out pretty cute. And I bet you're wondering, James, how much hair did you pull out of this wig? Well, to answer your question, this much. Ooh. Now this wig is just missing one more thing. The Jade's Mansfield Magical Wig Spray from BlackPhoenixAlchemyLab.com. Let's just give this hair a spritz. Ah, now this hair smells just like cream soda, which is great because it smelled just like a diaper pad. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And speaking of wigs, oh my God, you guys, I have a wig line now. Click down below to see how you can own a wig from James Mansfield Beauty. I also have style wigs available too. Just click the link down below and see how you can get your hands on some hair from me. And I know shaving can be a drag. I didn't want to shave today. But thanks to Manscaped, I have baby smooth skin on my face and down below. Ooh, so scandalous. Use the code MANSFIELD20 and save 20% off of your purchase at manscaped.com. That's James Manscaped. Not officially, but we're working on changing the name. We'll get there eventually. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, be sure and hit that dislike button twice. Okay? You got that? Do that for me, all right? And until next time, bye! Click here and see me try out Lady Gaga's House Laboratories makeup or see my second RuPaul Party City collaboration wig video. You don't want to miss it. Come on. If you don't click it, I'll feed you poison fried chicken then sing a song about it with Lady Gaga. So click it.